there are two classes that I teach all the time. Global history is one of them. That's one of our core historiography classes. Global history, I find, is a little bit of an impossible topic to teach, especially in seven and a half weeks. So the way that I approach it is thematically. So we think about different regions of the world and try to use a common theme to understand them. So I like to have students thinking about topics like food history. Right now we're looking at sensory history and global history. And another fun one that I love to do that usually freaks people out is uh, the history of trash, because what we throw away tells us a lot about ourselves. The other class that I teach regularly is a research seminar on the history of medicine. And because it's global and because I'm allergic to the modern period, students have to engage with primary sources that relate to anything before 1900 and that talk about health or medicine or technological developments. So students in those classes have done some really interesting projects related to things that are contemporary, if you will. So students have looked at um, vaccines and the smallpox inoculations, uh, using cowpox to inoculate, and other kind of questions that have come up repeatedly in the human history of medicine.